Hi, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about some moody crime mystery thrillers that I think you'll really enjoy. This has been a trend we've seen with TV shows coming out for the last 10 years. So I thought it'd be really good if I compiled them all into one video and you can see what you've missed. Think soft focus, winding roads, chilling landscapes, and those cool tones. These are highly stylized crime mysteries that will keep you on the edge of your seat. And bonus, they look good while doing it. But before we jump into today's list, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, which is something that I think any mystery thriller lover will also enjoy, it's Erica. Erica is an interactive thriller available now on iOS. And it's the first of its kind, boasting Hollywood production with engaging tactile gameplay. In Erica, your actions have consequences and the goal is to navigate based on your own decisions, shaping the narrative as you go. There are multiple outcomes and endings waiting for you at the finale. I was highly impressed by the graphics and interactive elements within Erica. I also really enjoyed the music production. I thought it was really well thought out and very chilling. I love the way you can interact with things and the way you move things Feels like how you would in real life. It's very clever the way they put it all together and I was very impressed. So if you're into thrilling content, download interactive thriller Erica by using the link in the description bar below. And thank you again to Erica for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like me. Okay, let's get into these thrillers. And just for fun, I've gone from least vibey to most vibey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. It's gonna go from little stylization to epic stylization. Let me tell you, that last one cannot be beat. But let's start at just subtly moody. Let's talk about Defending Jacob. Defending Jacob is a slow moving crime thriller mystery about a boy who was accused of an unspeakable crime. But the show focuses more on the boy's psyche and whether he is actually even capable of committing a crime. It also puts forth the question, what would you do if your child was in this situation? And it features the abuse that the family receives from the community around them. Chris Evans gives an emotional performance as Jacob's dad, who has to shift his perspective as assistant DA to the parent of the accused. It's one of those shows that keeps you guessing and makes you wonder, what would you do? Next, Mindhunter. This is a highly acclaimed TV series with two seasons. One was released in 2017 and the other in 2019. The show is available on Netflix in most countries. Set in the late 70s, the show follows two FBI agents that work in the behavioral science unit and are tasked with interviewing serial killers to solve open cases. And of course, the show is called Mindhunter, so it's a delve into the mind of the disturbed. It's an eerie true crime mystery thriller that's compelling and at times disturbing. If you passed up Big Little Lies thinking it was a typical drama, you were mistaken. Big Little Lies is a slow unraveling crime mystery thriller that keeps you on your toes. There are currently two seasons and the female cast is full of big names such as Nicole Kidman, Reese Witherspoon and Meryl Streep who comes in in season two. The TV series is based on the novel by the same name by Leanne Morority. It's a moody series about a town wrapped up in sinister lies of the upper class mothers who become involved in a murder investigation. And the different pieces of this puzzle are so overwhelming. The night I started this, I ended up staying up till 3 a.m. just because I had to find out how it ended and what it all meant. And let me tell you, I was shocked and I was not disappointed. The Sinner is almost an anthology season series, but although each season has a different thrilling mystery, it involves the same trouble detective, Harry Ambrose. There are currently three seasons in total with the fourth season coming out sometime this year. The first two seasons are the best. They each follow a delicate formula, people committing unspeakable crimes for reasons they don't understand. The first season stars Jessica Biel and Christopher Abbott. How it's set up is that Biel's character one day out of nowhere commits this horrendous violent act 
And now the detective who knows what happened needs to find out why. This show examines why ordinary people commit brutal crimes. It's dark and moody because it's all about the psychology behind these events. Warning, I was not a big fan of season three, but I am excited to see what's next. The Outsider released in 2020 is based on the Stephen King novel of the same name. To put it simply, the show starts off as a straightforward investigation into the tragic murder of a young boy. But the mood swiftly changes when themes of the supernatural seem to be involved in the case. The show was extremely surprising for me and manages to take a Stephen King plot built on fantasy and put it into the drama crime world. Blending the two has an interesting effect. Fun fact, Jason Bateman, who also stars in the show, directed the first two episodes, which are scored the highest out of the whole series. Although True Detective wasn't the first, it really did put the whole trend of vibey crime mystery thriller on the map. This one is a true seasonal anthology series in which police investigate disturbing crimes that affect their personal and professional lives. The first season was a hit with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson's emotional performances. The characters were so detailed, complicated and raw with the slow winding roads scenes dedicated to mumblecore and ominous tension, the show is extremely moody, presenting a slow burn thriller across vast landscapes. I know, I talk about this show all the time. Servant is extremely dark and moody with an exaggerated, shallow depth of field. The show boasts its M. Night Shyamalan connection with the master of twists not only producing the show, but also directing some of the episodes. And the show is just that, full of turns at every episode. Servant is about a couple living in Philadelphia who are mourning an unspeakable tragedy, which has caused pressure in their relationship, a pressure which opens the door for a stranger to enter their home and change their lives forever. I know I'm being vague, but with this show, there are so many twists and turns and everything changes in each episode. It really does well with the cliffhangers. So check it out if you haven't. And the new season starts this week, which I'm so excited for. Okay, we're in the deep side of vibey. Dark isn't a detective show, but it's at level nine on the vibe scale, and it certainly is a mystery thriller. The German TV show is about a small town that is harboring many secrets. These secrets are slowly exposed when two children disappear. There are three seasons of Dark and they tie very well into each other. I loved the show so much that I recreated this poster with Amy Hasselhurst, who is Broken Sundowns on Instagram. She's an amazing photographer and she helped me with this. So all the credit goes to her, but I just had to do this. I loved the show so much. So hopefully that's a testament to how much it's worth watching. The show is emotional, tragic, and has a killer moody soundtrack. It has an 8.8 .8 rating on IMDb. And all I can say without spoiling anything is it has one of the best endings of any TV show I've ever seen. Amy Adams broke us all with her role of Camille in Sharp Objects. The psychological thriller is based on Gillian Flynn's 2006 novel of the same name. The story follows a troubled reporter who returns to a hometown which holds haunting memories. And the reason for her returning is to cover the mysterious murder of two young girls. It's a depressingly haunted tale that's hard to look away from. And hopefully you've seen it or you'll be able to check it out soon before it gets spoiled because it's secrets a jaw dropping. Okay, this is really the height of vibey. Talk about shallow depth of field. The third day not only takes its audience on a mysterious ride, but it creates a strange trapped feeling with its cinematography, which works really well with the storyline of being trapped on an island. The show stars Jude Law as Sam, a man who travels to the island of 
OC and is unable to leave. But the mystery lies in what OC really is, a small village full of pagan rituals. The show is split into three aspects, summer, autumn, and winter. Summer and winter are the TV series, summer with the storyline I just talked about following Sam, and winter comes later following another outsider who travels to OC looking for answers. But autumn was a 12 hour live broadcast on the island, which was promoted as a major immersive theater event. And the 12 hour event is shown as all one continuous take. I have only watched highlights of Autumn and I was completely blown away. This is truly one of the strangest TV shows I've ever seen. You don't have to watch it with Autumn. You can completely understand what's happening without watching the 12 hour live stream autumn. And either way, I can tell you it's alarmingly captivating and sticks with you. Okay, we're at the last pick. So if that <laughs> immersive event wasn't vibey enough, I had to include the next TV series. It just felt so wrong doing a video about amazing TV shows that involved mysteries without including this last one, which is so vibey so insane. But the thing is, it's a very different stylization to the rest. It's moody in its own way. Have you guessed what I'm talking about? Twin Peaks. <laughs> As I said, I was not going to include this, but it just feels wrong to not talk about the most stylized murder mystery series of them all. Twin Peaks, the show, might not be a thriller. It's kind of in its own genre. It's a slow-moving, quirky crime mystery. Created by Mark Frost and David Lynch, the series is about an FBI agent who travels to the quaint town of Twin Peaks. He is there to investigate the tragic murder of a young woman. This series really is its own genre, a Lynchian mix of kooky and surrealism. And as it goes on, it just gets more and more strange. It's not like the others on this list, but it gets the top spot for a unique moody atmosphere with a soundtrack that will invade your dreams. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe there was at least one or two shows you haven't seen yet. Let me know what your favorites are down below. And also there were so many other TV series that just didn't fit. I know Twin Peaks didn't really fit, but other ones that really didn't fit either. They weren't mystery or they weren't vibey enough, but they had other aspects. So I've just put a list of some other ones that I recommend in the description box down below. So definitely check them out if you want a couple more that aren't exactly this moody but are really good thriller TV shows. Anyway, I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much to Interactive Thriller Erica for sponsoring this video. Don't forget the download link is in the description down below if you do want to check it out. And I'll talk to you very soon. Stay spooky. Bye.